Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have another build hacks video because you guys love my first build hacks video, so I thought I would do another one. And today I'm actually on the top of my apartment as you guys can see still not going to show you guys what is inside of my apartment just yet because it is a surprise but I figured I'd do the build hacks up here since we have more space to work with as you can see we can fit five platforms so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you five build hacks and things that you can build today so let's go ahead and get started cuz I'm really excited so the first build hack that I have right here is kind of like a rose or like flower wall so all you really need for this is a wall really and we're gonna go ahead and go into the Christmas section And there is a little table here that looks like a candy if I can find it for a second Okay, so it's this one right here. It's the icing table So we're gonna go ahead and take that out and it's actually kind of hard to see Okay, so here is a better representation of what the icing table looks like it looks like this and it's super cute So I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that as well so that we can create another color and the great thing about about these hacks is that you can kind of just like you know like make it your own in a way and like use colors that you would like to use and I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate these and fill up the wall All right, so this is kind of what the flower wall looks like. I know it's a little glitchy because um, the shapes are within each other. And the reason why I put the shapes within each other is because if you um, kind of like leave some space, you can kind of like get these dark spaces right here. So it's really just what you like. I feel like it looks cute. I tried my best to avoid having those see-through spots. So we're gonna go ahead and leave this up here. So yeah, that is the first hack right here is using this as a flower wall. You can also use these as like lollipop heads if that makes any sense. I don't want to spoil the entire thing, but I actually put these inside of my penthouse apartment and made a little candy like design and stuff with it. You guys can honestly be so creative like with these shapes and stuff. So this is the first hack right here. So let's move on to the next hack. And this hack actually was in the comments in my last build hacks video. Shout out to the person who requested this in the comments. So I'll put their um, comment on the screen right here. But basically they requested to make a disco floor. So there's actually two ways to do it. So the first way is to actually just use like just shapes like this and then color them a different color. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this in different colors so I can show you guys. Okay, so this is kind of what the disco floor looks like if you wanted to go with like colors like this. So this is what the first um, disco floor um, option that I have right here. This one is if you want it to be like different colors. But the next hack that I have right here is actually one that is inspired by Dr. Kung Fu Lama. So, so this disco floor credits go to her. So basically what you want to do is go into lighting fixtures and then go to ceiling. And you'll see this modern ceiling light right here. It's just like four squares together. And basically you can make a disco floor out of this as well. So let's do like purple or something. So of course if you wanted to go for like different colors and stuff, um, that it would have to look like this, for example. So something like that. So basically every square is not going to be like a different color like this one is. If you want different colors, it would have to be like four squares like this each time if that makes any sense. So this one is actually inspired by Dr. Kung Fu Lama and I think either way they both look really good. So that is the second build hack. So the next build hack that I have right here is actually going to be a little bit more um, building and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this wall right here. I'm going to need a wall for this one and this one we are actually going to be making a fountain or like a waterfall within our house so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here and make it kind of close so we're gonna go into decor go to wall because this is a wall decor item and we are gonna go to these neon light bars you guys know I really like using this <laughs> I, I think it's really cool but I'm gonna go ahead and change the colors of this one to like a blue color and then change the outer color to the same color and then I'm going to duplicate this um, four more times 
so that we can create an even like waterfall. This is actually going to act as the water. I'm sorry if that's kind of bright. Um, if you'd like to, you can tone it down. And of course you can make this bigger or smaller of however you like. So we're just gonna do something like that. And the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to shapes, we're gonna go to misc, and then we're gonna take out these circular triangles. Now this is going to act as like the bottom of the um, fountain. I'm gonna change the color of this to like a gray color. So maybe like that color, maybe I'll go a little bit lighter this time. Every single one of these build hacks I've built before and I've tested out and like practiced building them. So this one actually took me a while to do, but I'm going to go for this color. Um, when I was practicing, I went for like a darker gray color, but I kind of want to go for the lighter gray to see what it looks like. Okay, so that looks like it's even. So the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to use slabs. You can actually use squares if you want for this, but I think I'm going to do slabs. I ended up doing like the small slabs at first, but I kind of want to do the medium slabs because this area right here is a little bit bigger. So it just depends on what you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and make that the same color. So like that gray color. And we're going to go ahead and frame the entire outside of these lights. Okay, so once we are done doing that, we are going to go to pets and then we're gonna go to the bathtub. And the bathtub I'm gonna use for this is the pretty pet bath right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around so that it kind of faces like that way. Oh my gosh, no. And then we're gonna go ahead and color the bathtub all gray. So like this right here. So that it kind of just blends in with the rest of like the cement and stuff. So we're gonna do something like that. If you wanted to, you can actually leave this like this and then just like put like plants or something around it on the bottom. But for me, I ended up doing something different. So I ended up framing the bottom of this with um, squares and at first I use the small square but I'm actually thinking about using the medium squares this time um, just because like this is kind of like a bigger fountain the one I made is actually a little bit smaller so this is kind of what it would look like maybe I'll actually show you guys the one I practice on <laughs> actually we're gonna put that to the side for now and like see if we can still use like the smaller shapes so um, maybe we can still actually use the smaller shapes okay so we're just gonna go ahead and use the smaller shapes because that one was kind of big as you guys can see it like fit the entire area so i'm gonna go ahead and color that square the same color and then we're just gonna go ahead and then outline the bottom half of this fountain all right so that is kind of what it looks like framed on the bottom and the next thing i want to do is like add some like extra decorations and stuff so we're gonna go ahead and go to surface and then there is a actual like fountain decoration in here. It's a waterfaller and I want to put this right here and I'm going to go ahead and change that white color to like the gray color. So you can actually change some of the colors around. So if you want like a darker gray color to add some dimension and stuff, you can do that as well. So I'm going to use these vine takeover pillar things. I'm going to go ahead and pretty much outline the entire fountain. Okay, so this is pretty much it for the fountain that I came up with. This is like a bigger version of the one that I've actually made in my house. So this is what it looks like. All right, so this right here is the smaller one that I created. Um, this one is my practice one and I actually really like how it turned out. As you can see, it's a little shorter, it's not as big. Okay, so the next hack that I'm gonna show you is another hack that uses like different shapes and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and go to slabs and I think for this one, we are going to do probably the large slab um this one depends on you as well and this time we're actually going to be making a pet toys toy box okay so we're going to need a few walls for this so that we can get the um mini slabs like this to um kind of just stand up in like a box shape so we're gonna go ahead and do this like this hopefully this all lines up
Okay, so for some reason I can never get like this box perfectly lined up and stuff. So we're just gonna go ahead and go with it because I don't want this video to be super long. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is I wanna duplicate that bottom so that we can kind of just use it as a way to um, lift up the toys if that makes any sense. So, and we're going to put it in there like that and then place this one here. All right, so the next thing that we wanna do is get some dog toys. So you can also like make your own little custom balls. So I'm gonna get the small one and I'm just gonna go ahead and place it in the corner. All right, so that is our little mini doggy toy box. Of course, you can use like a smaller box if you wanted to. I'm going to change the color of this one to like this pink color and then possibly just duplicate that so we can create kind of like a ceiling right here. So something like that. And then for this, what you are going to need is you're actually going to need a chair and we are gonna be using the egg chair right here. And go ahead and like color that whatever color you like. And we don't want it to be too high off the floor because we are going to be making a hanging chair, like a swing type of thing. So we're gonna do something like this. Hopefully that's not like too high. Then we're going to go to decor wall and then we're gonna go ahead and find those neon light bars again. For this one, you can either use the colors white or black, but for this, I'm gonna go ahead and do all white, so like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and want to make like these swing strings, if that makes any sense, I hope it does. So this depends on, you can either face these on the outside or the inside, it really just depends on what you want to do. All right, so that is pretty much it for this build hack right here. Um, the reason why these are sticking up outside the wall is because this ceiling is kind of like short and stuff, like it's not the actual, like house but if you do have some of the smaller houses and it does go through the ceiling like that it's not like you can see it very easily when you're on the inside so yeah that is pretty much it for this last build hack obviously we're not swinging but it kind of just gives us the illusion of us like you know sitting on a hanging chair like this yeah guys that is pretty much all of the build hacks that we've done in this video i really hope that you guys enjoyed this build hacks video as well if you have any more build hacks that you would like me to try and create or recreate the ones that you you've made then let me know down below in the comments because i like to see what you guys would come up with too as well so yeah that is pretty much it for this video i really hope that you guys enjoyed give this video a like if you enjoy build hacks videos and also make sure you hit that subscribe button because i love to have you part of our donut family and i'd love to have you stick around for more future videos so yeah don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys next time bye